Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, let me introduce myself My name is Niara Batu Hasana from 1C NIM 48-2012-081-10 I want to tell you about the boy and the king and people of the trench There lived a king, Yusuf Dunuwas, before you in Yemen and he lived about 70 years before the birth of messenger of Allah PBUH and he had a magician as the magician grew old he said to the king I have become old and my time is nearly over so send me a boy whom I can teach magic so he sent him a boy Abdullah ibn Tamir and the magician taught him a magic on his way to the magician the young man found a monk sitting there and listened to his talk and was impressed by it. It became his habit that on his way to the magician, he met the monk sat there, so he was late in coming to the magician who beat him because of the delay. The young boy made a complaint about it to the monk, so the monk said, When you feel afraid of the magician, say, my people keep me busy, and when you feel afraid of your family, say to them, The magician kept me busy. It once happened that there came a huge beast of prey, and it broke the way of the people. The young boy said, I shall find out today whether the magician or the monk is correct in belief. He picked up a stone and said, Oh Allah, if the teaching of the monk are there to you, then the teaching of the magician bring that to this animal so that the people will be able to move about freely. He threw and stone toward it and killed it, and the people began to move about on the path freely. The young man then came to that monk and informed him. The monk said, my son, today you are superior to me. Your affair have reached a state where I find that you will soon be put the, to the test, and in that case, don't reveal my identity. The young man began to treat the blind and those suffering from lep leprosy and began to cure people of all kinds of illness. There was a courtier of the king who had become blind and he heard about the boy. He came and brought a number of gifts for the boy and said, If you cure me, all these things called together here will be yours. He said, I myself do not cure any anyone. It is Allah who cure if you affirm faith in Allah. I saw also supplicate Allah to cure to you. He affirmed his faith in Allah and Allah cured him. He came to the king and sat by his side, as he used to sit before. The king said to him, Who restore your Isaac? He said, My lord. The king then asked, I did. The courtier said, No, my lord and your lord, Allah. The king said, Do you have another lord beside me? He said, Yes, your lord and my lord is Allah. Whereupon the king took a hold of him and turned to him until he revealed in the identity of boy. The young man was whose sum of and the king said to him, O oh boy, it has been conveyed to me that you have become too talented in your magic that you cure the blind and those suffering from leprosy and you do such and such thing thereupon he said i do not cure anyone it is allah who cures the king took hold of him and began to torture him so he revealed in identity of the monk the monk was to summon and it was said to him, Turn back from your religion. He wherever refused to do so. King orders a cell to be bought and was placed in the middle of his head and it fell apart. 
Then the quarter of the king was broke, and it was said to him, Turn back from your religion. But he refused to do so. Then the same was done with him as well. Then the young boy was broke, and it was said to him, Turn back from your religion. He refused to do, and he was hand over to a group of his courtier. He said to them, Take him a such and such mountain, make him climb that mountain, and when you reach its top, ask him to give up his faith. But if he refused to do so, throw him down the mountain. So they took him and made him climb the mountain. The boy prayed, Oh Allah, save me from them in any way. You will. The mountain began to puke and they all fell down. The boy came walking back to the king. The king said to him, What has happened to your companion? He said, Allah has saved me from them. He again had him to some of his courtier and said, Take him and carry him away in a small boat and when you reach a the middle of the ocean ask him to give up his religion but if he does not give up his religion throw him into the water so they took him and he boy prayed oh allah set me from them and the and what they what to do it was not long before the boat overturned and they were drowned but he come walking back to the king. The king said to him, What has happened to your companion? He said, Allah has saved me from them. He also said to the king, You cannot kill me until I tell you how to do. I, he asked, What is that? The boy said, You should gather people on a plane and hang me by the trunk of, the, of a tree. Then take an arrow from the quiver and say, In the name of Allah, the Lord of the world, then shoot an arrow. If you do that, you will be able to kill me. So he did this and placed an arrow in the bow. He saw it, saying, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, in the name of Allah, the Lord of the young boy. The arrow hit the boy in the temple. And the boy placed his hand off, over the arrow word and did. The people proclaimed, We are firm from fight and the lord of this young man. The country came to the king and it was said to him, Do you see what has happened that which and fair hand split has taken place that their faith is in the lord? So he ordered the ditches to be duke to be duke and the entrance to the road and it was done and fear were kindled in them the, then the king said whoever abandoned his religion let him go and whoever does not throw him into the fight the people courted that but did not refuse their fight from Allah until a woman Come with her baby warm she was breeze fading. She felt hesitant about jumping into the fire. The baby spoke to her, Be fatty mother, for, ma for fairly you are following the truth. Muslim and Imam Ahmad record it. According to some report, above more than 12,000 people were burned into us. After that, the fire flashed up so high that it spread out really through the city and burned all those who were watching the fun of burning the Muslim. Only Yusuf Dunuwas, the king, managed to run away and throw himself into the sea in order to save himself from the rear of the fire, but he got groaned and did Tafsir Mahzan. It was about Dunawas and his army that Allah referred to his messenger PBUH in Surah 85, 
and all bulge. The reference is made to this insight. Thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.